hop into it. Hey guys, welcome to game two of the BSL finals of season 16. Bottom left hand corner, we got Fisheye starting as the pink Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the orange Protoss. Okay, Retriever, this is going to be on Nemesis, which has the flat ground. I'll scroll out. Massive open area, flat ground otherwise. Oftentimes, I don't know that either of these players are going to capitalize on it. I would expect Doodle to before Fisheye. But again, just as a reminder, this is where we saw very exciting matches between Monk and Gauss because we have these Zerg eggs and these assimilators that can be taken down from either corner of the base. Otherwise, there is no high ground between the main and the natural, which means three gate Dragoon play can be a little bit more, uh, can be stronger on this map in my estimation. Although macro play can also be very, very strong because you can create islands for yourself against your opponent and play a little bit more defensively in that regard. And there's also, it's a large map, so there's distance reinforcement points. I would be a little bit surprised to see a two gate opener again from Fisheye on this map, but we will, we'll have to see. I'm not sure. I, I've seen Fisheye play a wide variety of PVP openers. He is dropping his initial gateway on 10. We have 10 gate on the opposite side as well from Doodle. Doodle going for a more rapid scout than Fisheye which is going to cost him in resources, and but he is going to get first scout at the very least. And keep in mind, this can very rapidly turn into proxy gateways in your opponent's base. <laughs> Ooh, sneeze commentary, excuse me. In the finals, nevertheless. Uh, Probe's going to get spotted, though, and let's see if Fisheye's on, uh, if Doodle's on top of it. Sorry, Fisheye's getting the first scout, getting my players reversed. Doodle, yeah, recognizing, even though he's getting a little bit of a later scout, is going to head it to the proper... Location that's going to give him a slight lead overall. Initial Zealot being constructed. It looks like we're seeing an Assimilator first build. No Initial Zealot built here. And I think this is going to pay off for Fisheye overall. Because I think in, with the distances, you can get away with... Get away with this. Initial Zealot being built. Probe wandering in. Going to go ahead and try to do what it can to disrupt the probes along that gas line. Another probe being pulled off. Should even things up economically a little bit. Cybernetic score out for cell making its way across, although it's mostly mixing it up with the probe interior to the base. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a dedicated probe. Doodle being a, doing a pretty good job being annoying with the probe that is there. Very defensive interior construction on both ends. One pylon, however, along that back edge, and this is a mistake from Doodle. You need to be careful because sometimes your opponent can block themselves in with the pylon and do some hilarious antics from there. A la Gauss versus Monk, although I think it's Fisheye who ended up facing the more cheesy side of the bracket. Probe backing out momentarily to maybe get a later scout. Second Zealot actually produced. That surprises me a bit from Doodle. So two Zealot opener. Now, granted, again, this could be some pressure play. Or, ooh, and look at this. Already a DT opener from Fisheye. So dropping that Citadel of Adun upon seeing that probe exit the base. Let's see if that probe makes its way all the way back in. The Dragoon's going to blockade that area. Fisheye going to exit his probe to the north. This is also, I think, an advantage for scouting on this map as you can exit them across the mineral lines and units can't follow. And I actually kind of want to see uh, they Doodle move in from the north because he could really, because they can click on those minerals, just glitch through the Zerg eggs. And yeah, he's going to make a northern journey. Could see the Templar Archives, which would potentially be a quick win situation for Doodle. Cycling all the way around. This is going to be huge moments here. Oh, never mind. Can't get... Try, yeah, he's trying to pylon. He's able to get through. Massive play here. And he's going to be able to cycle around and see everything. So sees the Templar Archives immediately. Amazing play. And that's now isn't going to be necessarily wasted tech, but it's certainly not going to be as effective as Fisheye had initially hoped. Great play from Doodle and definitely worth the three, 33 resources. Actually has the slight worker edge right this second. He's gone robotics facility, knows he needs to go observatory first to start so gonna end up with an initial tech lead now granted he still needs to be able to place 
the observer in a proper position to help engage, and Fisheye can drop a quick nexus with the map control he has with the initial Dark Templar and that potential threat. I kind of want to see some pylons placed along the edges here just to yeah provide the scouting information. Lovely. From Doodle. Reading my mind. Feeling good. Yeah, it looks like the Dark Templar. One going to go towards the front. Another going to try to take the rear route and open up the eggs that direction. Zealots and Dragoons blockading that direction, but the Observer going to be there in plenty of time. And I don't even know that that Dark Templar is going to get a swipe. Yeah, just check. He's going to pocket himself up to the north. A simulator is being taken down by Doodle, and let's see if this Dark Templar is able to, maybe if it can run in and snipe this probe, that would be some extra bonus. Dark Templar has managed to get into the 6 o'clock location. Once this assimilator is down, he's not going to be able to get any further. So a little bit of a fat, well, actually a considerable fat, faster nexus there. Ooh, and the Dark Templar has revealed itself. Has it? Doodle didn't respond. Maybe he didn't get the fire signal. Oh, no. He had everything. Okay, the Observer going to see it. Can the probes get out of the way? Okay, that could have been a lot worse. That's unfortunate, though. And the Dark Templar managed to get in along the other corner as well. Wow. So Fisheye, despite running into build order disadvantages here from nice scouting from Doodle, able to get a lot accomplished with that. So now his natural expansion up much more rapidly, working on Psy Storm. Let's see if Doodle, having taken out those two Dark Templar, continues to press out, or if he just goes ahead and grabs a third. Actually, I think that might would be the play I want to see, is just a quick third base grab, knowing that your opponent's in a more def a defensive position, going with the opening Dark Templar regardless. And it looks like that is going to be the play from Doodle here at the 3 o'clock location. Second gas being grabbed. Some cannons. This is a pretty heavy investment. 600 resources and cannon on the front. Doodle, with this, should be able to take that economic lead. And I like that he's got... So he's got the assimilators down along that left-hand edge. Looks like he's working on opening up the eggs so he can quickly reinforce the 3 o'clock location. Fisheye dropping a pylon of his own just in case there is a counter pressure. Still no movement to Reaver Tech, however, from Doodle. It looks like he's still sitting just on the two gateways. So going to cut things quite a bit to get that third nexus up in line and he's going to have to drop a lot of tech but once he does should be able to surge in supply well ahead that side storm might be able to cut the gap actually this is a very late range upgrade as well so those cannons absolutely necessary probe wandering out doodle just checking the edge being very diligent with the positioning of that probe not to run into that cannon line it's going to get eyes on the high templar there as well so this high templar could down the line be an X factor here from Fisheye because that is going to be a slight tech advantage especially considering there's no Reaver shuttle on the opposite side and a lower gateway count looks like oof now a Citadel of a Dune being built from Doodle as well to go to that mid game Templar tech two additional gateways this is actually a faster push to four gates and the robotics facility than Doodle on the opposite end looks like he's just now getting his gateway's down, but he's going to have that third base up and running, dropping a defensive cannon and also taking the assimilator so he doesn't have to worry about as much of a defensive stand there at the 3 o'clock location. Fisheye getting sneaky. I think recognizing... I think instinctually knowing that he's going to have to take a third at some point. Wandering around, I think, both to scout, but maybe to claim this territory for himself as well. And I'm wondering if he's going to go for a cannon blockade maybe at the 12 o'clock. Or just go for that base upper left. One of the eggs has been wiped out from Doodle. Two more gateways piling on. He needs to actually drop a little bit more infrastructure to be able to really utilize the resources that are going to be flooding in shortly with that third base up and running. Probe checking out that 9 o'clock position, finding nothing. Yeah, Fisheye making his rounds. Actually going to take down that mineral, taking a little bit of resources out of that mineral pile as well. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's just going to try to grab a sneaky base here at the 12 o'clock and hope that it isn't scouted. We'll see. Keep an eye on that corner. He's dropping another pylon to get additional eyes. A cannon along that backhand edge. and I So this backhand assimilator is opened up, but we, we have a cannon defensively there as well. I love the vision from Doodle, where he does have pretty good eyes outside on the corners of Fisheye's base as well. Supply lead to Doodle. Worker lead now to Doodle as well. Plus one weapons. 
Looks like it's going to finish somewhat faster, but not in a situation where it can be more beneficial. Dark Templar moving out now. We do have an Observer up. Where's the robotics? There's the robotics at the natural expansion. But Dark Templar could sneak through to the north. There is that pine along edge, and woo, we have Templar drops moving across. Did Doodle see it? Is he going to see it? He's got the pylon, but the Dragoons aren't making their way across. High Templar. Dangerously close now. And this could be... a Oh! Still drops! Gets a handful of probes. Has another side storm loaded. Another good dodge. That could have been a lot worse for Doodle. Still loses a handful of probes, giving Fisheye the worker lead, but that will be mitigated by having that third base up rapidly the dark temple are going to get wiped out so just six kills that could have been disaster that could have been game right there potentially dark temple are waiting outside the natural i'm wondering if they're going to take a shot at the northern eggs anytime soon doodle still with the overall supply lead it's got an archon actually has some dark templar or sorry dark archons morphed as well interesting play a pylon blockading upper left Upon seeing that, it looks like Fisheye also has, yeah, pylons absolutely everywhere else on the map to scout. A, a probe making its way up to the 9 o'clock to go ahead and potentially drop that for Fisheye in a bit. Dark Templar are waiting there, but really haven't committed to anything. 20 supply lead, approximately, or exactly, for Doodle. Has had that third base up and running. He's got some Archons. A lot of Archons, and with potentially feedback, I don't think Maelstrom was upgraded, but with some feedback that could wipe out the Dark Templar energy advantage. A little bit lighter in the Zealot count for Fisheye, which is where Ar Archons really, really excel. Observer going to walk up and see that there's that established third, also going to recognize the Double Forge, although one of them is remaining silent. Plus one weapons just finishing. We already have plus one... Uh, weapons finished and plus two weapons and armor working for fisheye he's now grabbing that nine o'clock dark templar providing some scouting information of that army making its way out and i think doodle wants to force a fight recognizing that he had that economic lead archon's leading to oh and he's going to find the edge to feedback so he's got one high templar down the zealot sacrificing himself for the cause there Backing out a little bit as that army is drawing back. Wants to get his... I think he's just trying to reposition to get his Archons out in front. So they're not piling through his own army. Grabbing along that edge. Now sending that wave. Let's see if these Dark Archons can get another hit. Another feedback. Another two feedbacks. Still two storms able to land. I don't know that it caught enough of the army to make up the difference, however. Huge lead for Doodle now in supply. Wiping out that army entirely. Sending the refugees scattering back to the natural expansion where there is a reinforcement point, but that is very zealot heavy. And with the Archons right there on the front doing their splash, it could quickly melt through those zealots. Wall of fire making its way up. You can just hear the zealot deaths. And this could be a quick win here for Doodle as he's crashing down now towards that natural expansion. No additional High Templar, so the Dark, Temp the dark Archons not really a factor but a massive amount of units still be able to pile in. There's just the four cannons left. That's going to be a, a while before that High Templar is going to have enough size storm. Doodle recognizes it. Crashing in. Four cannons still stand, but you have another wave of reinforcements making their way across. No weavers, nothing else. And that is an exposed natural expansion now. And that should be GG from Fisheye. Doodle able to take the second match. Another feedback taking out another high templar on the front that would have been yeah there's gg from fisheye great play from doodle to take game two and we have a series this is going to be a fun one i can tell already evened up one apiece hope you guys enjoyed it give a like and subscribe if you did tell a friend like share etc etc hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for listening